Muslim countries, including Iraq, Syria, Iran, Sudan, Libya, Somalia, and Yemen. The executive order also suspended the U.S. refugee program for 120 days and barred Syrian refugees from the United States indefinitely. Since then, the president has issued a revised executive order, which has been in legal limbo as many courts continue to block the travel ban. For now, we are not really sure what the final All right. outcome of the executive order is. One more day. As you can do this. That the administration will appeal decisions blocking the travel ban all the way to the Supreme Court. As legal proceedings unfold, we also want to share the story of how communities in the Sacramento area are being affected by the executive order. I spoke with a woman earlier this week who is from Iran originally, but is now a naturalized citizen of the United States. She's also a mother of four, and all of her children were born in the U.S. and in Sacramento, in fact. But she feels like that's not going to be enough to protect them from increasingly xenophobic and Islamophobic attitudes. This woman also mentioned that her house was vandalized recently with hate messages. Mom, do I have to? Don't ask again. You already know the answer. What's going on? Mom's making me take summer school. Khalil, this isn't a discussion. You need to get a head start for next year. Your father would have wanted that for you. But all my friends Khalil, are out. Stop arguing with mom. Just do what she says. She's only looking out for you. Um, where do you think you're going? I'm going for a run. I have a big meet next week. You'll be at the high school, right? No, I found this trail near the American River. Salima, I really don't like you going out by yourself like this. Haven't you heard the news? There's all these attacks on- Mom, don't worry. I'll be fine. Besides, the river's nearby. All right, I'm full. Thanks for dinner. At least eat a little more before you go. Okay, I'm already behind schedule. Just like her father. Always in a rush. And so stuck. Not now. I'll be back later. Hey, doesn't she live around here? Yeah, I think I've seen her before. Hey, why did they all wear that thing on their head? <laughs> Check it out. Hey, Iraq! You're in America. You're free now, so you can take that thing off your head. Hey! I'm talking to you. Why don't you keep those ignorant comments to yourself? Did she just call us stupid? It sure sounded like it. Can you believe that? We let them come here, not a single ounce of respect for the real Americans. What's going on here? Making new friends? We're just teaching your little girlfriend here about some manners. Hey, be cool, man. I'm sure whatever happened was just a misunderstanding. Hey, Sarima, didn't you call me to talk about our meet earlier? Yeah, I'm headed over to the river. You wanna walk with me? Just make sure you keep her in check next time. They're just a bunch of idiots. Yeah, unfortunately. They just don't know any better. When I first moved here, kids used to make fun of me all the time for just about everything. I had to figure out how to stand up for myself. You know what I mean? Are you okay, by the way? I can handle it, but thanks for asking. I can't let stuff like that get to me. So why are you headed to the river? It's my last big training before the meet. Wow, that's dedication. Yeah. You want me to come with? Maybe next time. It's already getting late and I want to get going. Okay, well, just be careful out there. I'll see you this weekend at the meet.
down now. I'm just going nowhere. Your boyfriend ain't gonna help you here. Sariba, over here. The road's over here. I'll go after the guy. You two go get me. We knew we'd catch you. Okay, you got me. Now, what do you want from me? I want you to take that thing off your head. Or else what? What are you going to do? Hurt me? Beat me up? Kill me? We don't want to kill you, all right? We just don't like that thing you are. So prove to us you're not a terrorist or something and take it off. No, I'm not going to do that. And maybe if you stopped harassing me and actually talked to me, you'd understand why I'm wearing it. Sarima, come for breakfast. Coming. Good morning. Hey, not so fast now. Yeah, where are your manners? Oh, that must be Armand. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. It was great. You barely ate anything. Good morning, Mrs. Anawi. Hey, Khalil. Hi. Good morning, Arman. It's very nice of you to pick Sarima up. I packed snacks for both of you. All right, if we don't get going, we're going to be late. Arman, can you hold this? Sarima? Good luck on your race. We're so proud of you. Your dad would have been too. Go. Go on. 